Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about remembrance. This is a picture of my grandfather, Russell Kelly. Russell Kelly died a few years ago at age 93. I remember my affectionately called Papa, and I will always remember him for the, all the days of my life. In fact, I have ha pictures of him throughout my house. Papa, whom I miss dearly, I want to remember. So it is with us as Christians. We, as Christians, need to remember Jesus. How do we do that? We're told in the scriptures to remember Jesus by his death. So how do we do that? We remember him in his death through Holy Communion. In fact, Holy Communion, i.e. the Lord's Supper or the Eucharist, is an expression coming out of the Jewish Passover Seder meal that Jesus took the Afkamen bread, he broke it, and he gave to his disciples, gave thanks, and said, take and eat, this is my body, which is for you. In the same way, he took the cup after the supper, and he passed it to his disciples, and he said, everyone drink of it. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you. What Jesus is telling us is that in his death on the cross, we are to remember him by the body and the blood, of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a remembrance. These two symbols of the elements of Holy Communion is an expression of our faith to remember Jesus Christ for all the days of our life until the Bible tells us he comes again. In fact, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, the Apostle Paul writes this. He says, For what I received from the Lord, I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took the bread, and we had given thanks. He broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat the bread and you drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. So what is this telling us? As Christians, we are to remember Jesus Christ. How do we remember him? We remember him not by just reading in the scriptures. Yes, we do. And not by just through prayer or in ex other expressions of our faith. But namely, as Christians, we are to remember Jesus through the partaking of the bread and the juice, the fruit of the vine, as a way of expression of our faith, our love, and our adoration for Jesus dying on the cross for us. This is the ultimate expression of love. The body which is broken for us, and we partake the juice, the blood that was shed out of all the wounds of Jesus on the cross before and after the cross, before and on the cross was shed for us. This is a remembrance, a ceremony of remembrance. So I encourage each and every Christian partake in the Lord's Supper more often than you normally do. Many churches, many faith groups will practice in different odd times, whether it be quarterly, monthly, special holidays or holy days. But as Christians, the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2, the early church partook every day. I encourage you to partake in communion at home with your family. Take it more often than you normally have ever done before. This is a special time where you can remember Jesus. Hang that remembrance, not just up on the wall, take it down, partake in the Lord and in his supper and remember Jesus, all the great and wonderful things, the memories of Jesus. May you have a blessed day. Amen.